for her boyfriend. He tried to develop an account that made her look better in the eyes of others, uh, and, and that made her an unreliable and complex witness. Uh, this 324-page judgment is still being handed down. There was a long pause um, because of technical issues. Um, the judge using uh, interesting language saying that uh, because of the unexpected detours and collateral damage of this case, it might be more fittingly described as an omni-shambles, and at that moment the live feed cut out. Um, it, it's now going again, and that judgment is still being handed down, Sally. That's Rachel Hayter. <laughs> listening to The World Today and remember you can also listen to the program as a podcast online. The United Nations Secretary General says the Middle East is on the brink of a devastating full-scale conflict and has called for an immediate de-escalation. Iran's weekend drone attacks on Israel has taken what's been known as a shadow war firmly out of the shadows and made direct conflict between the two countries a possibility. U.S. President Joe Biden has told the Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. would not take part in any action against Iran. Rachel Neely reports. The late night session at the U.N. Security Council was another forum for a fiery confrontation between Israel and Iran. The U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged maximum restraint. Middle East is on the brink. The people of the region are confronting the real dangers of a devastating two-scale conflict. Now is the time to respond. Now is the time for maximum restraint. The call comes after Iran sent dozens of exploding drones and missiles to attack Israel. Gerard Erdogan is Israel's ambassador to the UN. This attack crossed every red line, and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. We are not a frog in boiling water. We are a nation of liars. Following such a massive and direct attack on Israel, the entire world, let alone Israel, cannot settle for inaction. We will defend our future. He called for the Security Council to take severe action against Iran, including sanctions and condemnation, but stopped short of direct retaliation. No more red carpet treatment here at the UN. No more appeasement. Today, the Council must take action. Condemn Iran for their terror, trigger the snap mechanism and reinforce tripling sanctions, Designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terror organization. Action must be taken now, not for Israel's sake, not for the reason.